Look what mom made for breakfast. Looks delicious. Now, we're heading out with the kids. There's Eliza, he's already sitting in this car seat. We're gonna go run some errands and go to McDonald's or in and out, I think. Is everyone ready to go? Katie can. Eliza. Eliza, look at baby. <gasps> oh, there's a truck? Yeah. How about Zach? Zach, I can't see you. Katie Kins. Okay, come on. We just got to In and Out. The kids are. Are you guys excited? Zach? Zach like fell asleep. <laughs> so I just got my food. Looks so good. And there are the kids. Hey guys, I guess I just got inside the car. I have a couple packages back there that I have to mail out. Um, I don't know if we're gonna be able to go to Veterans Tip today. It was a, like I had a really late start. I had to do a bunch of stuff this morning. Got sidetracked. Had to run extra errands and um, all that stuff. So. Um, don't know if we'll be able to go to Veterans Thrift today, but we're definitely going to be at least going to the Goodwill. But right now, I'm going to head over to the post office. It's almost 4 o'clock, so got to drop those off. Um, if you ordered anything today, which is Friday, everything is going to go out on Monday of next week. Um, and what else? I think that's pretty much it. I still have a ton of stuff I'm going to try to list up tonight too, so check that out. It's Hadrian.com. Uh, and if you ordered anything already and you wanted to purchase something else, since I'm not shipping off until Monday, just let me know before you before you purchase, because I can't do anything afterwards. Um, before you purchase, just message me, tell me that you have something else ordered, and I'm just gonna I'll, I'll um, waive the shipping fee, but I have to do it all manually before you purchase. So. Uh, don't forget to do that if you see anything else that you're interested in and I still um yeah so but anyway, I'm like my head is like ah I'm going at a million miles an hour I still have to um do this go to the Goodwill and then when I get home we're gonna cut and dye mom and dad's hair so we have um a, like a little laundry list of stuff that we still have to get done so let's go hey guys just got to the post office all right, you guys just made our way to the Goodwill. Super excited. Let's check it out. Some cute stuff in there. All right, there's some cute stuff inside the case that I think I want to take a look at. But the lady at the register is busy, so I figured I would look through these bags first to see if they brought anything out. Doesn't look like there's much new stuff out here. So let's go to the front. Oh, this is that broken fossil bag that's torn. Oh, this little Dooney is so adorable. Oh, and this vintage coach. I just found this really pretty Zara top. I think this is off the mall, it's only six bucks. Oh, they put this thing back here, no one's bought it yet. It's cool, but I feel like I have a lot of coral and not real coral, so I'm like really picky because I have a bunch of real coral now. And I'm like, eh, I don't know. Anyway, oh my gosh. <gasps> this wishing well is so stinking cute. I've never seen a wooden wishing well before in my life. That's this tiny, at least. Did someone just make this? I mean, it's a little dirty. How cute would this be outside? <sighs> I'm dying. I'm dying. You guys, I'm still dying over this wall. Like, I mean, the little burning parts of it, like, I don't know. I'd spray paint it white, maybe. It would be super cute spray painted white. <gasps> Dare I spray paint it white? There's cobwebs on it, which I do not enjoy. I can see it, like, moving in the breeze, like, right there. Do you guys see that? But. It's still kind of cool. Do you think these gears work? Oh, stop. They do work. Oh, look at the little bucket. Okay, you guys. I'm like kind of dead. Oh, look at this cute porcupine. Do you think someone made that? And do you think someone made this? Do you think the same? Oh, no. This is from Pier 1 Imports. But it looks like it caught on fire. Like, did the whole thing burn down? Look at that. Is that what happened? 
Why is everything so stinking cute right there? Is that a candle? This is papyrus. Current, it, oh no, French studio. This is from Target. I'm kind of just like looking around the store. I found this aster like off the shoulder top. It's cute, I like the print. Alright, you guys, I'm looking through the shoes real quickly. Look at these metallic ones. Seeing if there's anything cool for my kids. And by my kids, I mean my nephews. <laughs> I get that question a lot if they're mine. Nope, my nephews. These are cute. I wish they fit one of the boys, but they don't. Just looking through all the other shoes, there's not really anything um, too exciting that I'm seeing. Why does that almost look like Gucci, right? It's almost like how it has like that design, but it has the S F instead of the G. Attention customers, if anyone is holding a furniture, I. That face is like kind of pretty because it's kind of like pearlescent -y looking. Look at this little Mickey Mouse Fantasia plate. These are still here too. I'm waiting for these to go on sale. Maybe this weekend. Yellow will finally go on sale. Oh my gosh. That face. <laughs> okay, looking through the mugs. Are those the only ones that you saw? Don't really spot anything right now though. I just found this leaf platter. It's pretty cute. I think I'm gonna get it. I don't think there's any like, imperfections or anything on it. Only $3.99. Yeah, cute. Oh my gosh, how cute is he? <laughs> oh. The pocket bottle, $1.99. A Union Jack piggy bank. That's cute. What's this bear? Okay guys, this is so cute. But I don't even know anyone that has a landline phone anymore, but it's $8.99. Brand new, I looked inside, it's like still wrapped up in everything. I don't know, it might just be like a collectible type of deal. I might get this, it's really cute. Alright guys, I just got back inside the car. Um, I'll show you guys what I got when we get home, but right now, we're gonna go home and dye mom and dad's hair. And they didn't end up going to the Veterans Thrift anymore because there's actually gonna be a lot of traffic going over there, um, like, earlier. So, I didn't want to get stuck in traffic for that long. So, uh, I think we're just gonna save it for Sunday. And tomorrow we're gonna go thrifting all day anyway. Tomorrow is our thrift day. So I'm super excited. Um, sorry about the lighting. It's Atrocious, but anyway, let's go home. All right, guys, we're gonna cut dad's hair. This is how it's looking right now, and here's how it looks now. All right, you guys, mom's sitting in my chair now. She just wants a trim. We're gonna go a little shorter, yes. and then we're gonna yes. redo yes. these roots. Hey, what are you investigating? Let me see. Every time I'm right after I'm oh, mom ate some egg rolls. Some more fish, and we're eating the leftover soup from yesterday, which was so delicious. And I fell in love with it, and it's so yummy. Yeah. And, um, and also, mom's hair <laughs> has hair dye. Mom, you look like Cindy oh Lou Who. No, she looks like the Barbie from. Hey guys, okay, so we're inside my room now, and it is actually a little bit later, and I honestly, I forgot to end the video, um, but I decided to film a little bit more for you guys, because I really wanted to um, film this. I was gonna make like a full on dedicated video, but I was like, this is like something that's way too specific, I don't know. But um, so this actually happens a lot more than you think. I find a lot of items uh, at the Goodwill or thrift stores where this happens. Now, this doesn't just happen on wallets, it happens on handbags, it happens on, um, Shoes, it happens, like pretty much any like leather product that you can think of that has um, some type, like that has some sort of interfacing inside. This can happen, and it's actually a really easy fix. So, um, this 
a wallet I thrifted from the Goodwill a few days ago. If you guys saw that video, this one was $5.99, which I think is actually a pretty good price. Normally, they price these wallets a little bit kind of expensive, so I'm excited about that. I'm just going to cut the price off so that we don't actually bur accidentally burn it. Now, whenever I buy anything, I always like to stick the tag inside. Um, so, one, um, for my records, like when I, uh, sell items, I can keep it, I can keep track of how much the item was, like, uh, item cost, and then how much, um, I sold it for, and then you can find the difference and see how much profit you made from each item, which I really do like. So, uh, this, this technique, it pretty much only works on if your item is actually leather. If your ac if your item is a pleather, it can actually burn. So, I mean, I guess this is also a way to see whether or not an item is leather, uh, but I wouldn't really recommend it because in case it isn't, and, and also, like, take this also with, with a grain of salt because... Fire is dangerous, you shouldn't play with fire, but this is actually a pretty good technique, and if you're safe and, um, careful, this is totally fine, and it ex makes a lot of a difference. So, here is, I'm just gonna use, like, this is like one of those, just like candle lighters, I guess, with, I don't really know exactly what they're called, but... You get these in a pack at Costco. You can buy the... Did I say that with a weird accent? At Costco. You can buy these at Costco. Uh, but... <laughs> Obviously, I was just watching something where someone had an, a British accent. Because that happens to me. Then the the accent sticks. But my, ac like, my accent is actually horrible. But then I just want to speak with that accent. And it's just really weird. But, okay. So, pretty much this is what you're going to do. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be my thumbnail. Burning... A Michael Kors <laughs> but okay so use this so you're just gonna try to, you're just gonna get as close to the parts that are sticking up as possible and I'm gonna kind of like push in the fabric um, of the zipper so that you don't accidentally get that on there but you can see like the white threads that are sticking out right they're right there and you're just gonna burn it down Just burn it. I hope you guys can see it. So we're just going to keep burning it down, burning it down. And you might have to go over a couple of times. And you don't want to keep the fire on a certain spot for too long. But you can see that it, it has gone down considerably, though it is still a little bit there. But you see this part we haven't touched yet. These parts we did. Now, um, sometimes like these little spots like this, like they, like they don't fully go away. Um, but with that, like since, like since it usually does come out where they have the edge coat, then... You can just add a, like a layer of edge coat, which you wouldn't be able to do if this was sticking up. Another way that you can remove this is if you cut it with um, some, I think they're called pinking scissors, is that what they're called? But you can, you, you don't get as close as you can um, with the fire, so. I think it does a pretty good job. Let's get this little part right here. That right here. I like to use this kind of lighter instead of like a regular lighter because it's, I, I feel like you can control it a lot better than one of those like little pocket lighters. Even though this one is a little temperamental. Oh goodness, now it doesn't want to turn on. Ah! Why don't you want to work anymore? What I do to you? Oh, there it is. Oh. And again, like I said, just go over it a couple times. And 
sometimes like this one, it doesn't completely go away. But now that it's flat down to the bottom of the edge coat, you can easily put some edge coat on it. And I'll show you guys how to do that too. But yeah, see now, like, it's like gone down all, ooh, it's gone down all the way, but, whoops, it's still white. So let me grab some edge coat right now, and then I'll show you guys how to just like paint it on. And I use the Angelus acrylic paint, I think is like, one of the best ways to replicate edge coating without actually buying um, like a specific edge coat paint. And it's pretty much the same thing and does the same thing. But what I like about the Angelus paint is that it is very easy to use. It's very mixable. And here it is. This is my Angelus um, acrylic paint in black. Uh, let me see if I can open it. Sometimes, ah, uh, I opened it so easily. That was like a first. Okay. And I have, I actually need to get like another bottle of this because I use this a lot. But you can see here, right here where it's like still like kind of white. Now like, um, before it was very fuzzy and sticking out. But now you can just paint over it and it'll look completely flat and look fantastic and it's gonna mimic that same finish that it had before sometimes you do have to do a couple layers though if like you have um some like um uneven texture and what you can actually do too is once you get a couple layers on, if like the texture looks a little funny, you can actually like sand it down a little bit with, um, I actually just use like a nail file, honestly. Um, like, you know, like those, I don't know what they're called. Actually, I have one right here. Like just these that have like the different like texture. Yeah, I just use one of those and I just like sand it down really quick. And that usually does the job. And it makes it look really nice and flat. And then I'll just go over one more time with the acrylic paint. And that usually is enough to get it looking fantastic. So once you get this on, you're pretty much good to go. This paint dries really quickly. But I always wait at least 24, but I always wait 48 hours. Um before I actually use anything that I put edge coat on. But what's really great about this paint, and I got some on my hand, <laughs> what's really great about this paint is that it's perfect for leather, it's perfect for fabric, you can actually water it down and use it as a dye. There's so many things that you can do with it. It's a very, it's, you can, um, mix colors together to make custom colors. You can put this into an airbrush, which is awesome and I haven't tried that yet, but I really want to. Um, and yeah, so that is pretty much it. Our wallet is looking fantastic. I'm just gonna wait um, a few minutes and then it should be completely dry to the touch. But again, like I said, I wouldn't use it until um, it's dried for about 24 to 48 hours but now it looks fantastic no more of that like white interfacing in, in coming out from the uh from the corners and now that you have a new layer of the edge coat it's going to prevent that from happening again so um what the the edge coat is it's kind of like a seal um and sometimes items don't have edge coating, sometimes they do. It's all really kind of like, uh, kind of like for looks, kind of like for added protection to the corners. And it's just like a lot of different like reasons. But, um, yeah, so that's how you 
we're like bur we're burn off the stringy like interface coming out and how you do quick edge coat color. So there's that. And if you guys have any more like questions about edge coating, definitely let me know. But I have a couple videos up as well. Just check out my handbag rehab playlist where I show you guys um, the various ways to like repair edge coating on handbags. And I think a couple. Do I have any wallets that I do it on? It's all the same though. Like with handbags and wallets, when you repair the inner the edge coat, it's pretty much the same. So there's that. And now that I have you guys here too, let me show you guys what I did end up getting from the Goodwill today. I did get a couple pretty fun things. Oh, I did I did get that um that shirt from my mom. It was from Anthro not yeah, it was a no, Zara. It was a Zara shirt. But the first thing I have here that I wanted to share with you guys, let me zoom out a little bit. And it is this gorgeous leaf platter. Um, there's actually an inspiration kind of photo that mom and I are like kind of obsessed with that I want to um, kind of like take inspiration from and kind of do a table setting kind of similar to that. And that is with like the green lettuce like items that I have I want to do that like in the center of the table with like the food and stuff and then for the regular plates I want to use blue and white plates so um I think that's like a really fun combination and if you guys want to see that kind of like oh if you guys if that's interesting to you guys let me know because I would love to do something like that um kind of like a a thrifted version of like I don't know it's kind of, it's it's from Williams Sonoma. It was like they they posted it on Instagram. So like I don't know like a thrifted setting. I don't know. Is that like something cool that you guys want to see? I think that would be a pretty fun video. I don't think I've ever seen anyone like do anything like that on YouTube. Let me know if you guys have seen that though. I think that'd be really cool. It's kind of like a room inspo but thrifted, but like a tablescape setting, you know? So that's this, $3.99. It's in great condition. And it's by a brand called Olfiar. Olfair? Olfairy? I don't know. I can't pronounce it. But I I might actually have a couple. I think a couple of my lettuce pieces might be from this brand. I'm not too sure. I'm going to have to go look at them later on. Um, so I got that. And I did get this really cute coach. Uh, crossbody bag. I love like this flap right here. It's really cool. This is actually the second time I've found this exact same bag, but this one seems to be in fantastic condition. It does have a couple little marks on the front, but considering it is more of like a vintage piece, it is still in fantastic condition. And I think a little conditioner will go a long way, but this piece is so nice. And what's awesome is that it still does have this little dongle. Um, this actually isn't a made in USA piece. This is a made in Costa Rica, which is still pretty um, old as far as like these bags go because they were made in um, coach bags. I get, I get a lot of questions about like authenticating like with the creeds about where they're made. Um, on the creed, they'll say either made in USA, made in Costa Rica, made in the Philippines, believe it or not. Some um, coach bags were made in the Philippines. Um, China. And the ones that you have to stay, like, you have to um, look out for are, there. I've seen some amazing fake vintage coach bags that say made in Korea because they were never made in Korea before. So, take like, look out for those because I have seen a lot of them and they almost tricked me until I looked it up and did some research. And, yeah, so never in Korea. Uh, but yeah, Costa Rica, China, USA, um, and Philippines are the ones that I have seen the most of. And then, of course, the ones that are also made in Italy. Um, but of course, like, the fake ones can also say those things. So you really have to look for not just, like, where they're made. But I, the ones that are made in Korea just look so convincing. And then you're like, oh, wait, they've never been made in Korea. But, um, yeah, so we have that. Um, like, quick way of, um, authenticating. And also... 
Um, this guy was $20. So cute again, like I said. Like, I love this bag. The leather looks superb. It is so nice still and in such fantastic condition. And it's just like a really cute bag. I really like the shape and silhouette of it. And then last but not least, this item I was really excited to have found at the thrift store. And it is this wallet. Now, I have no clue concerning the authenticity of this wallet. Um, but <laughs> I really like the print. It's like that camo Louis Vuitton. Let me actually zoom in a little bit. The camo Louis Vuitton. Um... Let me look at the zipper. A lo most The zippers are almost always YKK, right? Um, but this one does not say YKK on it, I think. So that's probably a dead giveaway for that. But I don't know. The zipper pull is missing, but that's easy enough to replace. And then it does say Louis Vuitton Paris, made in France. But the stamping... I don't know, it's a little bit like, I don't even know if you guys can really see it. Can you, oh, I think it even looks better on camera than it does in real life. My lighting is like not the best right now, but um, I don't know. It's still, I think that it's still a really cute wallet. Just needs a little bit of cleaning up. This little part separated right here, but that's easy enough to fix. Um, this other side is still going strong. I honestly don't even carry this many cars with me anyway. I don't know if I'm going to be selling it. I know a lot of you guys have already messaged me about it. And I don't know. I think it's just like a cute wallet that I think I, I would like to use for a little bit. But um, I don't know. Look at the print. looks pretty good on here too. Like usually the... I think for like the authentic ones, the LV is almost never um, stitched over. And they're like centered like... Perfectly. So there they, they are right there, there again, they're there, and then right here again. But again, I am not the best authenticating Louis Vuitton, trust me. Um, but I just think this is just a really cute wallet. So I really like it. It's really fun. It's really graphic. And I think this is going to end the video. So thank you guys again so much for watching. You guys are the tops. You guys are so amazing. I love you guys so much. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the little bell button for notifications. Add me on Instagram and check out my shop. It's Hadrian.com. Um, don't forget to tune in to this morning's thrifting video. That went up this morning, so I'll have that linked. And then check out the new thrifting video tomorrow, bright and early at 7 a.m. And then new thrifting video up at 2. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys. Wait, did I say thrifting? A new vlog was up at 2. Thrifting at 7, vlog at 2. I love you guys so much. I can't even talk anymore. Um, but yeah, bye.